This is Joseph Lyle Brewer for ESFI, and I'm here with Zion Spartan of Good Game University at the Riot NA Season 3 Qualifiers. How are you feeling right now? You guys just qualified for Season 3. What's going through your mind? It's pretty good. Um, just had a meeting with Riot and learning a lot about Season 3, and it's looking really nice for us. What are you looking forward to the most? Do you guys, do you think the format of having that week by week kind of playing with uh, one team every week, being able to prepare against that team will really help uh, yeah. Good Game University's play style? It kind of like legitimizes esports. It's taking esports to a whole nother level, and I'm really looking forward to that level of competition. What do you think you and your team can go back and change or adjust to make sure you guys are a top team going into season three? Uh, definitely more practice. Like we have, we're all going to school, so um, there's definitely like a lot of conflicting schedules, and we'd love to like make it so that we'd all be able to play more and just work on our teamwork a little bit. Besides that, I think we're good. Well, you said you guys are all going to school right now. I mean, is there any chance of uh, possibly having any subs or anything like that? Yeah, we're still looking for one sub. I think a couple of people are taking a break from school, but w last semester everybody was doing school still. So, yeah. Is the team house a possibility later on down the line? Yeah, we're thinking about it. Um, we might start one this year. I don't know. Possibly next year, but there's a lot on the line. So, there's a lot to think about as well. Well, looking back, uh, looking at 2012, looking into now, uh, would you ever thought you'd be competing at the LCS as one of the eight NA teams for for this season coming up? No, it's kind of like a dream come true. It's really crazy how, like, I'd, I'm going to high school and at the same time I'm competing in video games as a professional video game player. How did you first get into League of Legends? I mean, you said you're in high school. What, have you been, been, what did you play before League of Legends came out, and how did well, you get into it? I've kind of been just, like, playing video games ever since I was little, and it was usually my brother. He'd just, like, bring me onto the game. He's like, hey, play this game, and I'm like, okay. And then I just he showed me League of Legends, and then I started playing that game. And just one time just got good at it, and then here I am now. What would you like to do before that, or what activities do you do outside of League of Legends? Uh, I run. Uh, I like to listen to music, like play music and stuff. You know, just like spend time with friends, stuff like that. Mm. Well, you climbed your way up from a lower ELO player all the way up to where you are now. What kind of advice would you give to you know more lower ELO players that really think they want to compete in season four or five or six or however many more Riot does <laughs> run down the line? Yeah. Uh, my advice would be just keep playing because the more you play, the more you learn about the game. And as long as you like like playing the game and you just keep putting effort into it, one day I, I know you can be good. Well, what were some of your strengths and weaknesses as you were growing as a player? Um, my strength is that um, I'm really aggressive in lane, but at the same time that's my downfall because I can be too aggressive and that will lead to me making bad plays. The weaknesses? Um, uh, I don't think over every single decision I make. Sometimes I'll be a little too rash or a little too uh, over eager to show myself off to the rest of the world. What do you think you could do or have you do or have done to change those strengths and weaknesses and adjust to them? Uh, just think more rationally. Focus more in on the game and realize what's more important objectives instead of trying to get kills. There was a lot of changes for this recent patch in season three. What kind of buffs and nerfs would you like to see change? for this next upcoming patch? Elise definitely needs a nerf. I think AD carries need a bit of a buff. Bruisers are really strong right now. And I'd really like them to change how there's a bunch of bruisers going mid. Like it should be AP carries mid. Like they need to kind of fix that because Kha'Zix, Kha'Zix is definitely really OP right now. That needs to be nerfed as well. How have the season three patch changes affected your position? Um, just made it a lot stronger. You see bruisers just being extremely strong. It's like taking on whole teams if they're fed just extremely strong right now what are you guys gonna do tonight to celebrate you got to be feeling excited and going crazy after that huge probably win. just gonna have like a nice team night out with the dinner probably watch the rest of the games just relax that's awesome man well thank you very much Zion Spartan thank of you. Good Game University do you want to give any final last words or shout outs uh shout out to my brother who showed me League of Legends shout out to my parents shout out to family and friends shout out to our sponsor Good Game University and just gonna slowly yeah. get in that. Superman style. Yeah, Superman. <laughs> I'm ripping the shirt off. And Good Game University. Shout out to We're currently looking for sponsors. And yeah, shout out to all my fans as well. Thank you very much, man. Good luck in season three. Good luck to you as well. <laughs> Thanks.